welcome back to my channel. A kiss from me to you. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. Today's video. Today's video I am excited about because I'm doing a bunch of my favorite things in the wonderful city of Los Angeles, California with one of the most important people to me. One of my besties. <laughs> I'm showing her my absolute favorite spots around the city of Los Angeles. If you are a long-term subscriber, you already know some of these places. Some you don't, some are new to you. Before we get into today's video, I have to talk about today's sponsor, which is one of my favorites. Anna Luisa. I'm wearing her right now. I wear them every day. Every jewelry piece I'm wearing in this video is from Anna Luisa, especially now that it is Valentine's Day. You know what? You don't need a holiday to get a girl a gift, okay? <laughs> you don't need it to be Valentine's Day. Surprise her randomly. Like literally just get a surprise gift for no reason, for no occasion. Just do something that they don't expect. That is like the best thing on earth. So Go do that. <laughs> and what is better than jewelry? Not much. So go check out Ana Luisa. I'm going to show you how I style three different earrings, three different ways. These earrings I'm wearing right now are a little bit on the fancier side. Right now I'm wearing a flannel so you can dress it down, but you can also dress it up with a cute little button up and heels. They're like three little chains. These earrings are probably the fanciest of them all. The hoops, we love the hoops, but these are like elegant hoops. So they're simple, they have diamonds all around. They look so pretty. So I'm wearing them with a fancier dress, also heels, because the earrings are just, just fancy, you know? And then these last earrings, these are more for me like a summer staple. We're not really trying, we just like effortlessly flawless vibes, even though it's not true for me, <laughs> I try. Get somebody special to use some cute little jewelry pieces and happy Valentine's Day. I hope you have the best day ever. So let's get into today's video. Athena came into town Friday night and we got home around like 8 p.m. So as soon as we came home, we're like, okay, let's rally, let's get together. She had just gotten off the airport, so she needed to like freshen up. I was a mess, so I needed to freshen up and we just got dolled up for the night. We headed over to Le Petit Paris, which is one of my favorite restaurants in downtown LA, like one of my favorites. I've been there before with Greg, and I was like, I need to take a thing here. We tried to go to Macaroni Republic the first night, because that is also one of my favorites, but they closed at 10, and at this point it was already 10. It was a very late dinner. <laughs> we were starving. The vibes at Le Petit are just immaculate. Like, it's so vibey in there. They have lights everywhere, but it's like dark and moody. We sat down at our little table and we ordered drinks, of course. Our drink of the night was a white chocolate espresso martini. Oh my God. It was delicious. Way better than any other espresso martini, especially because I keep ordering espresso martinis. I don't even like espresso martinis. I don't like them. Like if it tastes like a white Russian, more milky, more creamy, I'm like, yeah, I love that. But I've only had that like once. I've ordered like 20 espresso martinis and only like one, okay, maybe two, have tasted that way. Le Petite was amazing. Then we got a truffle pizza, delicious, devoured it. And then it's a Friday night. We headed over to the club. We are young, we're going to the club. So we headed over to the Ace Hotel, which is one of my favorite places of all. I don't know like club or party vibes of downtown that well yet, because I literally go to the same spot every time I go out. But I love the Ace Hotel. It's just my safe place where I know if I'm going out, it's gonna be a hit. Like some places I've been to are hits one night, misses other nights. The Ace Hotel, always a fun night, always a bang. So it's a safe, it's a safe bet for winning. So we went over there, we ordered drinks, danced the night away. All night until 4 a.m which we proceeded to come home. We were still wide awake at this point, a little drunky poo. Were we going to sleep? Absolutely not. So we tried to go to the rooftop in my apartment, but apparently my apartment closes the rooftop at midnight 
God knows why, maybe to prevent two drunk chicas from going up there. <laughs> I don't know. But it was our brilliant idea to head over to the, I forget what it's called, but I thought it was a brilliant idea to head over there because it's a really pretty view of the city at nighttime, which is what we wanted. You know, a little drunky poo staring at the city, like a vibe. So we went up there, which from my apartment, that walk is very uphill. But it's fine, we did it. Then we get to where we're going. Usually I take an escalator all the way up. The escalators are off at night to prevent drunky poo people probably from going up there, but we did it anyway. So we did probably like five flights of stairs, like insane amount of stairs. We were dying by the time we got to the top, but it was fine. We chilled there for a moment. And then we got kicked out by security, who was very nice. She was so nice. We understood, but we got to soak in the scenery for a good, like, 20 minutes. And then we got kicked out. But then we came home and fell asleep. That was Friday night. Saturday. Saturday. Saturdays are for the girls and Greg, <laughs> who was our drunk driver of the day. We got the Andante Dirty Barista or Tatas. This is Athena's first time trying it. So we're gonna get like a first impression taste test. All right, okay. she's mixed. Okay, ready? Oh my God. <laughs> and we're both wearing yeah. white. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So and good. So we started off by heading over to Malibu. We just wanted a cute little lunch on the pier, so we headed over to the Malibu Farm Cafe. Make sure you eat at the restaurant closest to the beach, not the one like at the end of the pier, because that one's just not as good. I don't know why, it's the same restaurant, but just don't eat at the far one, eat at the closer one. Beautiful views, it's really cold. Be prepared if you're in Malibu for the cold weather. <laughs> FYI, even though it'll be so sunny and hot in downtown LA, Malibu is just a different, different area. I ordered the steak flatbread, delicious. It is one of my favorite meals there. I will get that every time I go because the little steak bites on the flatbread are just so delicious. And Athena got a lobster roll. She wasn't the biggest fan, I didn't try it, but she said she didn't like it that much. So just FYI, but we sat there, ate our lunch. After we ate, it was time to go get drinks, put our drunk driver to use. So we drove over to the Malibu Cafe, which is also one of my favorite spots. I've been there a few times with my mom. So it just reminded me of my mom and I was like, oh. which also is freezing, by the way. Actually, the first time I went there with my mother, it was like summer of last year and it was so hot. Me and my mom were like sweating. This time around, it was freezing. We were wearing like dresses and we were like, Luckily we had a blanket in the car, so we like brought that out and we're like snuggled in it. There were these kids running around who were literally destroying this place. There's like a giant chess game. They were tearing the pieces apart, throwing them, kicking them. We were literally looking around like, where are their parents at? Like nobody, nobody to be seen. These kids were just running wild. After that, we got a little hungry, we got some drinks in us, we vibed, we chatted by the fire pit, we headed over to the one and only Macaroni Republic, where we try to go Friday night. Saturday night, we made it over. Love this place. I got macaroni and cheese. Athena got my favorite pasta, that's like the Pomme Amore. And then Greg Jones got something, we don't know, something new but they're always so delicious. So let's see, taste test. Athena first. Pressure. The pressure, yeah, I might be steaming below. Delicious? Mm -hmm. oh, incredible. Incredible. Greg Jones? You want me to taste test yours for you, Richard? No. <laughs> yours. Mm -hmm. It's steaming. Steaming? Good, delicious. Me, okay. It's a four cheese pasta. Five cheese, no. 
Yeah. Dinner was amazing. After our dinner, we had a nightcap at a bar right across the street. It's vibey in there. They were so nice in there, and that was the end of our night. Sunday, we we slept in because Saturday was pretty long night. We spent such a long time at that bar. So Sunday we slept in and we started our day around the afternoon. And we headed over to the Melrose Trading Post. I love Melrose. We didn't buy anything, but we walked around a lot, explored. We saw a TikTok of Sydney Sweeney there at the Melrose at the same exact place we were. I remember passing by this store and being like, Athena, like I wanna get this dress. And it was like this lime green dress and there was a butterfly top at the top of this place. And the picture of this girl with Sydney Sweeney was right there. We must have just missed her. Tragic. We're like, we're just gonna tell people we saw her because we breathed the same air. So same, same. Ah, I'm so sad. <laughs> We spent all day talking about Euphoria too, and of course we miss Sydney Sweeney. Like that is just tragic for us, but it was fun. We're planning on going to Echo Park, but we were just so tired. We've been go go go. We've been doing so many things this weekend. We just rested, watched a little bit of Gossip Girl, and ended the night in the best possible way with Sugarfish. Why is this to me so amazing? It was so so good. Athena loved it. We literally devoured it everything we were like sitting there i'm so full and she's like i'm so full and we were like but i want to keep going and we kept going <laughs> but then from there i dropped her off at the airport and that was our weekend doing so many fave things so many fun things wearing my Anna Luisa pieces and go check them out. Go check out all these places. All these places on the list are some of my absolute favorites. I hope you liked today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next vlog. Thank you for watching.